it's National Superhero Day! Yay! And no one knows what that means. Yay! Who thinks of that? We're gonna make today National Superhero Day. Who thinks of that? There's a National Flash Appreciation Day. So there's a ton of Marvel news so far this week, so buckle up and get ready as we slap you in the face with a fish of superhero goodness. First up, Mr. Fantastic's powers have been changed for new Fantastic Four movie. <laughs> According to the movie's official website, Reed Richards can warp space around him and appear to stretch his body to impossible forms in incredible lengths. So instead of his body physically being able to stretch, he's shifting space around himself. So, science. Listen, I sort of get it. They're trying to bring the Fantastic Four mythos into a more grounded, realistic setting so they can possibly play a little easier with the Avengers eventually. I kind of get that. But there's still a rock man in the Fantastic Four. A man made out of rocks. So I don't know what they're gonna do with that. Next up, Brian Singer posted a photo on the Instagrams from the first day of filming on X-Men Apocalypse, and it's pretty cool. It features Singer standing in front of a movie theater marquee that reads, now playing, Return of the Jedi. Now, Return of the Jedi came out in 1983, which means, of course, we're moving along in the current new X-Men series chronologically, where the next film takes place in the 1980s, a decade after the events of Days of Future Past. Mm -hmm. I do find it kind of weird that there's a Star Wars reference in an X-Men movie. Interesting point, Sam, but I find it to be more of like a cultural historical reference rather than just a straight up movie reference. And plus, it's probably just gonna be like a little Easter egg in the background of a bigger scene, so it's probably not gonna be like the focus of the scene. And speaking of X Men Apocalypse, we got our first look at Cody Smith McPhee as young Nightcrawler, and it looks kind of dumb. Okay, well, look, Nightcrawler is always gonna look a little weird when it's live action. You just gotta kind of used to it. Yeah, I feel the same way about Beast. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think they've ever gotten Beast right in the films. He just looks like he's bloated and has mom hair. <laughs> Kelsey Grammer was the closest. Also in Glorious Bastards, actor Daniel Bruhl was confirmed in recent rumors that he will be playing the villain Baron Zemo in Captain America Civil War, which I give two thumbs up. I give one to the side. This dude was a real dick in Inglorious Bastards, so I already kind of hate his character, Zemo, but not the actor, because I think he's great. Bring it, Brawl Ziff, or Brule Ziff. And for those of you that don't know, Zemo has been one of Captain America's main foes for decades in the comics. He's probably just angry because he's disfigured and has a hood stuck to his face permanently. Zemo is credited in the comics as having formed the Masters of Evil, which is the supervillain response to the Avengers. Ooh. And finally, this is just a rumor, so don't start mocking up fan posters just yet. But with the cream dream of Sony finally striking a deal with Marvel to bring Spider-Man to the MCU, we get ever closer to yet another reboot, recast, retitle of the upcoming third iteration of a live-action Spider-Man film. There's still no word on who will be playing Spidey this time around, but what we do have is a supposed title for the next film, which is rumored to be called Spider-Man. The New Avenger. Cool. cool. Fan service. I like it. It kind of gives the uninitiated movie going masses the instant brand recognition slash connection by adding Avenger to the title. Most people may not know Spidey's an Avenger. And this clues that up big time. The other cool rumor is that the film would feature Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man who would test Spider-Man out to see if he's Avenger material. Ooh. So that's it for all this super cool, super awesome superhero news. Did we miss something? Let us know in the comments and we'll chat about it, okay? I'm Steve Zaragoza. And I'm Sam Basher and don't forget, this Friday Friday, we're gonna have Superhero Roundup, not on Thursday, on Friday. Live stream, and we're gonna talk about the big news, Avengers Age, Age of Ultron. Ultron. You, be you guys better be there to watch it or I'm gonna come after you. I'm gonna come to each one of your homes. I'm gonna spit something at you, and it's gonna be something different every time. So if you got a friend who knows me and you know him too, and he calls you and says, Steve spit soda at me, you can expect soda, but guess what? It's gonna be something else, like milk. Sam will come with me. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's called madness. <laughs> What's going on in there, you think? Thanks, Ricky. One of the founding members of the X-Men is gay. Wait, that was just announced? Well, in the current story, younger versions of the original five X-Men have been pulled to the future. Ooh. Yeah, and while they're going about their business, doing X-Men things, one X-Men found out that one of her teammates is secretly homosexual. Sexual. Right.